Hey everyone, Valve's released a new version of Proton Experimental and they've added support for DLSS with DX11 and DX12 games. Now it's guarded, so we have to do a little bit first in order to make it work. The first thing, make sure you have a copy of Proton Experimental. You have to create a DXVK comp file in the game that you want to try out. And make sure you add the Proton Enable NV API equals 1 and you should be good to go. I'm going to be using my 2060 no cape edition 6 gig on a 1920x AMD Threadripper 32 gigs of RAM, Debian 11, Kernel 514, and the latest NVIDIA drivers. So how are we going to do this? I'm going to set the resolution to 1440p, preset a high, and DLSS is going to be set to balance, because this seems like a logical setup for anyone in my position with a 2060 trying to get a little extra bump in gaming performance. Well, that's what it looks like at 1440p. What do you think? Uh, I think it looks all right. Getting about an extra 20 frames per second uh, overall, but it's not gonna let you play games at 2160p, 4K on a 2060. This is not, but we're gonna try it anyway.
Well, that's it. Nice, quick, and dirty. I mean, it's almost playable, and, you know, in-game, it's not too bad at 2160p, but, you know, the image quality does take a hit. You know, 2160p at a high preset, and when you turn the DLSS to performance, eh, things get a little muddy. They just do. But that's going to do it for this video. If you want to support what we do, head over to patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. And if you got some thoughts, hints, allegations, comments, or if you just want to say NVIDIA sucks, AMD's Fidelity FX is better because reasons, leave a note in the comments. We'll be sure to read them.